Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And let me turn this down. This is, and I forgot already, this is, I think, New Guinea, Radio New Guinea. And it's coming in pretty clear. It's at, um, get this out of the way, 7.325. It is 7.10 in the morning here in Clearwater, Florida. And I've kind of given up on that Genesis radio software. And I think the problem was, number one, I didn't know what I was doing. And number two, it takes more CPU power than I think this particular computer, which is a Dell Dual Core Model 330, I believe, um, can provide. And I think what was happening was I was switching different frequencies and modes and everything, and I think it was getting behind, wasn't keeping up. So when I saw things that looked like strange things were happening, it was because the computer program, the Genesis radio computer software, was not keeping up, or should I say my computer was not keeping up. Therefore, when I would select something and then I'd select something else, it would still be working on the first thing I selected. So I've kind of given up on that for this computer. And the other thing that was happening when I was trying to do that Hangout is I was running the Genesis software and trying to do the Hangout, which those of which those of you which have seen that video, which I've taken it offline, noticed a bunch of audio dropouts. So that I have taken that video offline, so because it was so bad. Um, but I'm gonna try. I'm trying again this morning with SDR console, and this is version three, connected to my Fifi SDR which is connected to my MFJ 31 foot vertical antenna. And it seems to be doing a pretty good job, even though I'm running the screen capture program on top of this SDR program. And I think it's keeping up. The, uh, the A lot of these programs will give you some indication of CPU usage. I think that can be a little misleading. Like when I was trying to do that Hangout, you know, I was running the Genesis software, it said it was only using 50%. And that probably meant that program was only using 50%, not the overall usage was 50%. Because I'm pretty sure when I was trying to use that program, the CPU usage was going to 100%. So, two things I'm doing differently this morning. Number one, I'm running SDR console version three. Number two, I'm not trying, ooh, look at that signal go through. I'm not trying to do a hangout at the same time, but I am doing using my screen capture software, which is limited to um, about 10 to 15 minutes and then it runs out of memory. So that's another thing, that's another conflict with this setup is that screen capture software, which is Cam Studio, uh, has the limitation that it can only capture up to what you have available in memory. I do have three gigabytes available in this computer. Now, when you say three gigabytes available, actually it's three gigabytes installed of which the operating system takes probably a third of that and then on and on and on. But if you look down here right now in this program, it says the CPU usage is 42%. And he does say when you uh, hover over it, he does say this program CPU usage. So that's probably what Genesis was telling me also, which is only part of the story. So this combination of either SDR console version 2 or version 3, this computer 
I'm running Windows 7 and the Fifi SDR and its drivers is working beautiful. You can see I'm getting a lot of signals. There's not much noise. Um, it's just a perfect setup for HF. Now, I haven't been able to get this setup, this SDR, to work on VHF and UHF with SDR console. Does some setup required? I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's working with this SDR in the HF mode, but I'm glad it does because that's what I want. So anyway, that's what's happening. I kind of give it up on Genesis Radio for this computer. Like I said this morning, I was running it with theoretically nothing else in background running. And it ran okay, but I, when I started switching things, you could see it was getting behind. And like when I switched frequencies, it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't switch frequencies for, you know, two or three minutes. And the more I did, the further it got behind. So this is not <laughs> the computer to run that software under. So anyway, that's the show for this morning. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. And that, I also wanted to explain what happened to that original show, 1149, which was a hangout. But several people pointed out the fact that it wasn't a very good show because the audio was dropping out and all kinds of other things are going wrong. So it's been replaced by a new show, 1149, which is with Scott and his ICOM receiver. And that's, so that's what happened there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.